Briggs are here. It's been a while since I've been out adventure riding, but since I've just bought a new adventure bike, I thought I'd best put the first ride video together and let you know why I actually bought the bike that I bought. If any of you guys have followed my channel, you would have seen that my first adventure bike was a DRZ400, which um, was a bike that I was trying to be the jack of all trades, if you like. I wanted it to be able to do everything from single track to touring. And that bike did do that, although it didn't do everything very well. I'd sort of say it was a jack of all trades, master of none, but still a very capable bike. And then after that bike, um, I wanted something a little bit more refined, a little bit more comfortable, uh, which led me to the KTM 1190 Adventure R. Had all the gadgets on it, beautiful bike to ride, beautiful engine. The only downsides to that bike was the seat height, because I've only got a 30 in, 30 inch inseam, and the weight, it must have been pushing 250 kilos loaded. Uh, and the day that we went on a ride and I had to pick it up 20 times, sort of put the nail in the coffin for that bike. I then took a little bit of a hiatus, gave me a little bit more time to think about what I really wanted out of an adventure bike. And I wanted a bike that I could ride on the road and do maybe intermediate off-road trails, nothing serious. Um, so having read the reviews on the Transalp, I thought, hey, this could be the bike for me, put a deposit down. And then it got me thinking, well, what about the bike that I discounted early in the game? Maybe that bike is going for the same market and maybe I should give that bike a go. And what was that bike? Well, I had three or four requirements, I think, for adventure riding. Not too heavy, not too tall, and within a budget, and preferably with some gadgetry on it because I'd got used to the uh, cruise control, traction control, etc. on the... Um, 1190 um, so this bike came along it was under market value I thought hey I'd give it a crack if I don't like it I'll sell it and get my money back and what was that bike well that bike was the KTM 390 adventure um, and this is the first ride on it all I've done to it since I got it is put some crash bars on it put some motors tractionator adventure rears on it and dual venture front and we're going to take it out today through Mebbin Forest, maybe another little bit of off-road as well. And at the end, I'll let you know what my first impressions of the bike are. Hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. And let me know what you think. Catch you later. Where you feel the weight.
so you have to keep turning the traction control off to now understand people's gripes about that I don't know if the um, software update fixed that but uh, yeah there you have it guys i'm quite happy with the bike so far on the road it handles pretty well um, you just got to make sure you're in the right gear when you're doing an overtake because it hasn't got the torque of a bigger bike off-road people say it's good for easy to intermediate trails and I'm, so far i'd agree with that the traction control turning on is a little bit annoying as is the stalling but maybe that's just me needing to get used to the bike and maybe we can fix that with a firmware upgrade so yeah so far so good Please keep tuned to see how we go with it. Please like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions or comments, fire away. Catch you next time.